Hey, Michael. Hey. My name is Mary. I'm with WAOK Radio, and we're going to be here in a week or two, and we're going to be doing a radiothon to raise money for Children's Health Care of Atlanta. Mm-hmm. And so we wanted to stop and talk to you because you're here, and we just wondered what you like about Children's Health Care of Atlanta. I like, for one, it's just a nice place to stay. Really, I like, like I have, it's like I have my own personal house, mm-hmm. but it's in, it's in a small room. It's like I have a nice bathroom and a nice bed, all where I like it. And then when I wake up, if I'm feeling energetic, I could go downstairs and I could go to the zone and play basketball. And when I'm hungry, they usually have foods everywhere, like from hallway to hallway. Mm-hmm. So it's really nice. So how long are you here for? Um, I'm here for about three years. Three years? Yeah. Off and on. Off, off and, and on? on? Off okay. and on. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, Michael, we're glad that you're enjoying your here, your stay here at Children's Health Care of Atlanta. It is like a private a hotel room, right? Uh-huh. And there's a lot of fun things to do. They have entertainment here as well, right? Yep. Um, like, when there's, I can see when I go down there, there's, like, big TVs for um when games come on. And it's like they have a lot of the Falcons. So maybe when the Falcons have games, yeah, they'll have really it on. Cool. And then everybody could just come down. It's like a big family. Everybody. <laughs> everybody so, come down to watch. Mom, what's your name? My name is Shalonda. Shalonda. Mm-hmm. So tell us, in your um, words, what sets Children Health Care of Atlanta apart from other hospitals? That's a great question. Um, that's a great question. I can say I haven't spent a lot of time in a lot of hospitals. But what I can say is special about this one is that it doesn't only cater to my child's needs. It really does support me as a mother. And so um, I, from the nursing staff that will not only come and ask Mike, does he want anything? They'll look me right in my eye and say, now, do you need anything? before they leave every time. And it's not just the nurses, it's the techs, it's the doctors who look at you and before they leave every single time without fail, they're gonna say, do you need anything? Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter what it is, they're they're there for you. Um, And I think for me as a mother, I have to stay strong for my child. And they allow me to do that. I'm cared for in ways that it's amazing because they're, you know, I know they're medical doctors and they've gone to school to do that thing. And aside from the spiritual care that I feel, I don't believe they went to school to, to, to provide spiritual care. But at the end of the day, when we're in the midst of this, it becomes spiritual care. Right. And for me, it is. And then I can stay strong for my baby. So when he's feeling better, like he said, he can go downstairs. He mm-hmm. can teach me things. He teaches me things. He went to the koi pond today and him and his grandfather go everywhere and... He was like, Mom, did you know that koi's will, you know, they grow dependent on their environment. You know, the bigger the environment, the bigger they are, the cleaner the water, the better it is for them. Of course, it's the same for us too, right? The cleaner our environment, the better it is for us. But it takes his mind off of everything, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, we know we're we're in a fight. Right. You know, we're fighting for his health. We're on a journey. But the doctors um, have always been clear with me and also with Michael. Right. Michael's very inquisitive. He wants to know what's going on. And the doctors are very clear that they understand that they're going to talk to him about what's going on, you know, based on his age. Mm-hmm. But still, they're very informed about he needs to know, too. And I appreciate that. It helps me. He's a, he ad, he's, and he's the best advocate for himself. Right. Cause he, and then it makes me a better advocate. Mm-hmm. He asks questions, and I say, okay, I better educate myself myself because he's got questions and the doctors are really good with engaging him and it's a whole support system absolutely it's not very holistic so michael we're glad you're feeling better and we're glad that your mom's getting the support she needs so that she can help you get better and we want you to have fun in hawaii okay okay all right and if you're still here when we have our radio thon i'm going to come up and check on you all right okay (laughs) nice talking to you bye thank you